Okay, All right, let's start. Hello, everyone. My name is Han Doyo. I'm the CEO of Learn. Before, before we start with what we do, I'm sure most of you heard about these company that took down most of the internet. I'm not singling them out, but that is today's reality of cloud computing. There's this conundrum where everyone sees the benefit of running on multiple cloud. However, through my 15 years of developing enterprise software, I noticed that the burden of developing and operating a multi-cloud solution is always placed at the end users, which is not feasible for a lot of companies. Also on the flip side, I also noticed the lack of motivation by the big cloud vendors to, to support these types of solutions. We certainly think that's a big problem. So we started Lyric to solve this over-reliance on a single vendor for running your cloud business in the cloud. We start with this technology called serverless. Our serverless compute platform allows our user to code once using our code template that does not contain any cloud signatures. The platform utilizes data, machine learning, and user's policy to wrap, deploy, and execute the functions from one cloud to another. Lyric Function Delivery Network distributes the application, and in the end, the user will be able to choose to dial on what's best for their organization, whether it's performance, security, or cost. We will ensure your application availability by hosting the endpoint on multiple clouds and the ability to execute two multiple clouds. By combining the power of serverless and our cloud agnostic deployment with minimal operations, we give our value to our end users of a massive sa savings potential they can go upward to 90% of their cloud bill. So now we're pursuing the market with our unique approach. And our most effective way to grow the company at the moment is by partnering with the right companies at the right time. We build technologies partners with startups at seed and series A that doesn't want to be limited in their deployment. We are also building partnership with, uh, with solution provider that has connections to the enterprise client that knows about their pain points. We then present Lyric together with the startup application as a solution that solves their pain point effectively on any cloud platform. And we started this strategy about three months ago and we're on track for bookings of $450,000 of revenue and $110,000 ARR for 2021. We're projecting a million dollar revenue and $250,000 of ARR in 2022. And here's some example of the solution that we're currently building with our partners in a platform. It encompasses different use cases like running artificial intelligence, distributed monitoring, modular ERP solution to e-commerce platform. And to give the idea about the market size that we're pursuing, we are currently, the current ecosystem of application and services that we're building in the platform can easily put us within $160 million market. And with enough supported applications and services baked into the platform, we'll be able to chip away $125 billion of total infrastructure spend and create a larger market share for serverless. As far as competition goes, we're the only serverless solution that will provide a full holistic cloud experience while still allowing our users to maintain their own platform. In the near future, we will be providing the same experience for cloud databases and storages, which makes us a truly one-stop shop for building your application. And with that, we're currently raising safe of $1 million on $20 million cap with 20% discount. And we plan to use this fund to close our engineering gaps, improving our business and cloud operations, and further expand our marketing. And our plan for Series A at the end of 2022 will be a raise of $5 million on $25 million valuation to fully kickstart our global growth. Lastly, we're a team of brilliant engineers and advisors. I'm the CEO of Lyric, and prior to this, I was the director on, of solution engineering where I built multi-million dollar data center operations. And my COO, Simon, worked on Fortune 500 companies as a regional sales leader. He has a lot of experience navigating sales and development for business strategy. Our advisor came from a very strong enterprise background and has been a tremendous help for us in helping us building our enterprise strategies. Our users have been loving their experience so far. And with that, we thank you for your time and listen to our pitch and feel free to contact us for any questions. Thank you. I think, thank you for your wonderful presentation. I, I do have uh, 
a couple of questions related to your product mm -hmm. offering, right? Is this a, uh, data, data infrastructure, oh, is this an infrastructure offering that you're providing or is this more of a deployment software? It, it's a first infrastructures. We're actually running the execution as well. Uh, we are doing uh, uh, the build, the deployment and the execution. So, so it's a SaaS platform that actually does all those three uh, in the same time. But my understanding is uh, Amazon AWS or Microsoft Azure mm -hmm. have their own cloud offering along mm -hmm. with this infrastructure, right? Lambda mm -hmm. to um, like right. Azure Function apps, right? So uh, are, are those uh, your direct competitors? Because I, I did not see them this on the slide. Well, they're direct competitors, correct? If they want to actually work on one uh, cloud vendor, I'm putting the client on the slide, the, the one that actually does multi-cloud uh, offering. And that's the one, the, uh, the one, the, the serverless that support serverless on multi-cloud. There you go, uh, serverless platform on multi-cloud. So all of those vendors that is, uh, that is like Azure, AWS or Google or have their own offering like these, but they always lock you into that platform. And whatever they you choose, uh, always work each other on, only for that platform basically. And we're trying our uh, the platform that we're trying to solve is that we can actually stitch them together, all all the other clouds. Sorry, uh, one more follow-on question, mm -hmm. right? Uh, mm -hmm. When you talk to your customers, right, uh, what would be the business case around having the um, multi-cloud uh, infrastructure, right? Because traditionally, business will like to consolidate. It's easier. Uh, they're getting charged for traffic coming out. Uh, um, um, and then coming out, going in the, the cloud environments, right? So right. we've seen hybrid environment, but that's, those are mostly related or, or tied to like an on-prem uh, plus right. a cloud, right? Because for right. data privacy and security reasons, uh -huh. uh, can you kind of talk about that a little bit? Uh, and and we do support that too, hybrid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we, we do provide our own platform on your own machines. And, and one of the reason is actually that uh, the, one of you're saying like security running on your own platform. And that's the conversation I have uh, with uh, most of the enterprise users. The, the other reasons uh, for different clouds, supporting different clouds is could be, uh, is one of them that I'm talking with is actually a regional uh, advantages of certain clouds, basically. Certain clouds only work in a certain places and they want us to, they, they don't want to actually learn about that uh, cloud vendor, you know, and they just want to publish their code and we'll push it into their cloud basically. And, and that's the idea of this. You don't actually have to hire a bunch of other uh, uh, knowledge, uh, be, uh, knowledge for the other cloud. There you go. To be able to push in your product into the other cloud. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, that's actually all we have time for today. Um, but Hondoyo, excellent presentation.